Double Dragon, your boy A-Man. It's like in back with some new heat for y'all today. Heard what she said. Let's get it, man. Mike Eco. Yo, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Uh, you watch another video from the man, C CJ the CJ the champ. Oh, I said it right. I said it right. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man making these funny videos, man. Dope dude, anime community. We got Tokyo Revengers. Facts, man. Like, mm. kind of like a Black Force anime. If if you really if you really like, oh, give me somebody be like, hey. Yo, can you give me a Black Force anime? <laughs> oh, like, Black Force. Air Force of Force anime. Air Force. I took your revenge. Facts. Go watch it, fam. It's this dude on there. His name Mikey. Black Force. This man, this man got like six pairs, fam. If you crease the first one, Facts. the other five pairs, it's already fresh. You feel me? This stuff you know? is goaded. Crazy. I'm already anime of the year for me so far. I don't know, man. I'm, I can, I'm saying I, I can attest to that. I'm saying I, I can attest to this that. This stuff is cold, bro. If you haven't seen Tokyo Revengers, man, you may not want to watch this video. We could watch it because we covered everything on our channel. Y'all want to watch it with us, go ahead and watch it with us. Y'all want to check out CJ the Champ content. My man makes some pretty dope content. I, I learned about some anime characters I didn't know about. Facts. Especially that dude from Baki. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty dope. But yeah. we done seen all the content already, so none of this is going to be spoilers to us. I'm about ready to get into it, man. See what they got to say. Because he can have, you know how he have his own round table, round, round table of like, yeah. Black Air Force? Mikey just got to sit at the, sit at the desk like this. <laughs> what is, what is, what is Black Air Force is sitting on top of the table? Big facts. I mean? But he can have a whole table with just people from Tokyo Revengers, bro. Draken. Draken. Uh, Baji. Baji. Um, Look at Mikey going, of course. What's his name? The dude that was under Baji. Oh, yeah. Was he giving uh, Black Force energy, though? Ah. He got that smoke, though. He's I nice. Think so. but he I got think so. I think so at the very end. I don't yeah. forget his name, though. Yeah. I forgot uh, his name. Uh, ah. I forgot his name. But if he don't got nothing about Mikey's kicks in here. You. She for you? She for you. Okay. If he ain't got nothing about Mikey uh, kicks in here, I'm gonna be judging low key. You can't. You're not gonna be. Able, you can't miss that. The kicks is the kicks is a staple. You can't miss that. He, he should have a chain with a kick leg going up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just have a chain on it, like get kicked. Facts. Just have a shirt. Get kicked. Stop playing. Yo! Yeah, man. We about to check the man's video out. Shouts out to him again. Big All right, facts. You ready to run it up? Let's get it. Run it up. Oh wait, huh? Let's run it up. Right. And you said it twice, it threw me off. You know, I, I don't know. I be knowing where I be at sometimes. I'm, I'm here though. So they say, you know, it's through the road, bro. So they all just started blasting. And look at them, they all smiling. And right <laughs> so this is pretty much the uh the fight that went at the uh the end. I'm beating your ass. on him, but he he just nonchalantly just yeah, it's a lot of black Air Force One energy. That's a, that's a, that's a dope intro. Ah, what is that? Yeah, be careful, man. Anime community, be careful. Black Air Force One Inc. Moderate sitting on the table. Gas to. Because it is finally time for us to return to Tokyo Revengers. Or should I call it... <clears throat> Black Air Force Energy, the anime. The kick. Up, gang violence, home invasion, nigga, you name it. So last time we did home invasion. Hope ain't got nothing about the manga on here. Hey, and I said, I'm right, I'm I hope it shouldn't. Exhibit B, and then I'll add a representative to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And well, uh, it's about that time. So let me go ahead and give that one. If you have not seen Tokyo Avengers episode 16 through 24, you may not want to watch it. Key to this warning, please. Key to the warning. Wrap the 
left off, this man Baji was beating the shit out of his vice captain. So Takamichi's like, all right, bro, why are you doing this? Why are you turning your back on your own hood? Baji! Damn! Baji! So, so we get a flashback all the way to 03. So everybody's just chilling and riding their bike right. And yo, this man Mikey's just like... <laughs> <laughs> but he could do that, though. That's the case part. Right. I love how the most savage person in this show is literally just cruising on a moped right now. And look at dude, he like, why you shitting on my moped, dog? This my street hawk, nigga. So then this other gang pulls up. They look like some whole ass grown men out here harassing middle schoolers. So this dude's like, all right, bro, I'm about to smash your little bitch made ass moped, nigga. But then Mikey gives him this death stare and he's like, Lay one finger on this shit and see what happens to your ass. And he just <laughs> down a whole ass grown man. So he bags off, but look at his head, bro. Look at his demeanor. He acting tough as shit right now, but in his mind, he's like, uh, hell. Dude. That's that same hairstyle from, um, you hot show. Yeah. But they like, I hate that hairstyle. Again, we gonna jump your ass. And then look at Baji, bro. He like, what you wanna do, y'all? Y'all wanna murder? <laughs> oh my God, dog, you just a kid. And you out here talking about murdering grown ass men. So then Mikey runs out of gas. So then he's like, listen, bro, I'm trying to go to the beach. So uh, one of y'all niggas about to get to pushing and take my shit to the gas station. So Baji, <laughs> <laughs> never fail. Y'all got me messed up. We gonna have to run the warrants, fam. Yeah, uh, I might lose, but hey. So after that, they like, all right, bro, we about to fuck up your moped now. But then as he's about to break it, Baji steps in and takes the hit. And he's like, y'all niggas ain't about to fuck up my nigga Mikey's moped now. So right before this man Baji's about to get jumped again, this man Mikey pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, I forgot my swim trunks. So then this dude kicks his own moped down. Then he turns around and he's like, yeah, y'all niggas got some nerve fucking with my shit, huh? And then Mikey's like, hey, bro, you fucked up your own moped. But then Mikey just clocks him. <laughs> This grown I just realized how crazy that was. He he knocked his own stuff, then blamed him for it. That's like some just psychotic. He didn't blame him for it. I, did he not? He did it. I feel like I remember him saying that. Pause they, that. I feel like I remember him saying he you messed your own bike up. He 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 did uh say that, but when Mikey said hitting something that's important to me, he's talking about Baji. Okay, yeah, yeah. He okay. gonna talk about the moped. Cause I remember him, I'm like, okay, he definitely said that. All right, yeah, cool, yeah. cool, cool. To like the age of 12. So later on, Kazutor and Baji are just riding down the street and they're like, hey, yo, we got to give Mikey a birthday. Ah, oh, damn. Kazutor suggests we should give Mikey that bike that he always wanted. This way, this way, all went right, south. How we gonna get the bike? And Kazutor says, we're stealing it. These niggas about to rob the bike shop. Look at him, bro. It's like he's done this shit before. Little niggas only in middle school is already an expert in breaking it. <laughs> they got the Skyrim block picking. Fires and shit. So then they get it loose and they're like, all right, bro, let's roll this shit out. So while Kazutor goes to check the front, Baji just realizes there's a person still left in the shop. So he notices them and he's like, hey, we getting robbed? And he got a wrench and everything. He ready to clock this shit. So while Baji's panicking, he looks at him and he realizes that he knows this person. So you kind of kind of see the similarities in their eyes, too. And their ears. And collapse his shit with the pliers. He cracked him in the temple with a smile on his face. I mean, the 360 fam. And then Baji's like, ah, oh, shit. We fed up. Because the man that Kazutor just killed is Mikey's brother. <laughs> the sounds, though. Thank you for coming in such short notice trying to steal a bike for his birthday they end up breaking into his brother's bike shop trying to steal his bike that he was going to give mikey for his birthday and he killed him god damn bro and man damn. losing it right now he's like it's all mikey's fault i need to kill mikey that's that face where you know you messed up you gotta do something it does not make sense bro upside the head basically just killed the nigga and you're saying it's Mikey's fault. <laughs> Yo, this nigga's a lost cause. So then they get arrested and, and then they see Mikey. Oh my God, bro. This is just tragic. And look at him. Just let me get in the car, bro. Crazy. So Baji didn't get locked up because Kazutora defended him. So Baji joins Valhalla and they tell Takamichi, all right, go ahead, tell that nigga Mikey this, that on October 31st, we running y'all shit. So the day before the fight, Takamichi ends up running into Shifuyu, the person that Baji was beating the hell out of earlier. And he tells Takamichi that there's a reason why Baji went to Shifuyu. 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 Because of Kisaki. So apparently this Steve Urkel ass nigga has been plotting the whole Steve thing. Steve Urkel fam. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why everything goes bad is because of this dude. So they do some investigating and they figure out that this man is running the whole show. Like y'all remember Osunai, the nigga that got knocked the fuck out by the Mikey 2000 roundhouse? Apparently, is this the, is this the soundtrack to Squid Game? Bruh, just look at him. That sound like it. It is. That's wild. He goes from looking like this to this. 
So they end up he got the glow up. He got him some, some, some booty. Is the one that is basically leading it's pretty much it's fitting for foot squid game. Yo, this man All these damn games. God damn. Homie is dead as leading a whole war and is basically leading both sides. So he can have power at the end of it all. Hey, hey, I mean, that's kind of smart, but uh, you ain't my nigga Palpatine, though. Hey, but you could try, you could try. So right before the fight, Takamichi goes back Excuse to the me. future to ask Draken some more questions. And he figures out that Mikey is supposed to be the leader of Valhalla. And the whole organization was made for him to lead. And he figures out that he has to stop Mikey from killing Kazutor because uh, Mikey's going to put that nigga six feet under. To and F pay for respect. And everything's gonna go to shit. So now it's the day of the fight, and all these other niggas from games came to watch this shit. Like it's a whole spectacle or something. Hey, hey, but I can't cap. Some of these niggas dripping though. Look at the fence. And this Tokyo Avengers got their drip though. They got their own drip, bro. How many Big Macs did you get, nigga? And he got a whole nother bag. So then this dude, Shoji. Like, he's like, all right, both y'all niggas ain't shit. Just letting y'all know that right now. And I guess he's supposed to be the referee. So what is this, like the NCAA for delinquents? Is this supposed to be like a regulated fight? So then he's like, all right, y'all bring out your team captains. He should have said something about they whack like fit, bro. <laughs> everything. I'm surprised they didn't bring the band to play the fight song. This is a goddamn delinquent national championship. So he's like, all right, bro, what the fuck y'all want to do? Y'all want to do a five on five or a whole ass all out brawl? Like, nigga, yo, five on five? So we having like a whole ass tag? Team match, but then Kazutor is like, man, this shit. Then just cracked the ref in the face <laughs> and just punched him in the gut for good measure. So then, bros, like, what is all this bullshit? Overseeing a fight, conditions, what y'all niggas want to do? Playhouse or some shit? Fuck <laughs> all that bullshit. We came to box out sorry asses. So they say, you know, it's scooter rolls, bro. So they all just started blasting. And look at them, they all smiling. And homie right here just wants to smoke. Look at dude with the mask, bro. This nigga said, fuck a pandemic, I'm beating your ass. <laughs> he was trying to team up on him, but he, he just nonchalantly just cracked his Yo, this man is a definition of not giving a Ooh, Hated that dude, bro. A little red ass dead nigga, but hey, hey, I'll right. Mm. Nobody likes him. So while everybody's boxing, Takamichi's just standing there like a dumbass, like, oh, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> the shame, bro. He's like, hey, bro, get your head in there, or you're going to be six feet under when this shit is over. The shame, bro, Takamichi. But it's true, facts. Dragon stops him, he's like, uh, 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 we're doing this JRPG style. You got to beat the sub boss before you fight the main. <laughs> JRPG. Ass comes over and boots Dragon's ass like 10 feet. Like, damn, boy, you got a strong ass foot. Size 13 having ass boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I've been waiting for this day, boy. I've been dreaming of this ever since I clocked your little dumbass brother upside the head. And then look at Mikey, bro. He like, all right, bro, bring it on with your little banana peel head ass. So why are you facing off? Takamichi's still over here shitting bricks. So then Shifuyu comes over and he's like, why are you playing Takamichi like this, man? You, you get that? So huh? Is oh, this. My fault. Rock that nigga shit. But, mm. but, then, but then my nigga just started getting jumped again. Hey, hey, but at least he fighting now. So Draken's out here boxing. I can't even defend my man. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say. But Sheesh. Goons on Draken. So it's not looking good for Tommen right now. Like, they're, they're outnumbered and they're getting their asses beat. And now Draken's about to get jumped. But then That's a good summary. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> He get his man the same the same instrumental for him. Bro just gave everybody in Tolman a whole morale boost. So Draken starts stretching. He's like, I've been waiting for this day. Twenty-four <laughs> seven. I've been waiting for the day when I can recreate Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance. So this man just starts running mm. hard on the whole Madara type thing, just cracking everybody's skull one after another, catching bodies on bodies on bodies. Hey, that is hey, hey, yeah, true. That's like the human form, like Madara going crazy up. Facts. Look at him, bro. He's like, yeah. You next linky ass boy. Hey, look at bro, he enjoying this shit. He like, yeah, baby, let's dance, nigga. Damn. Bro, he's sitting there. Woo! <laughs> and look at Takamichi, he's like, damn, bro, I didn't know this nigga was that OP. Yo, all this man's stats are just maxed out. So then Mikey's out here chasing out Kazutor, and he's like, quit running, you banana peeled ass bitch. But he leads him into a hole trap, and Mikey ends up getting jumped by both their captains. But it don't matter because he's still light work. Y'all niggas ain't shit. But the <laughs> light work. Older, Mikey, and this man Kazutor comes from the top rope and collapses shit with this steel pipe. My boy Mikey is down. This this literally sounds like a video on World Star, bro. Like no right. days, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. I went to Juvie because of you. I suffered because of you. If a person kills someone, they're a bad guy. But if you kill your enemy, you're a hero. Everybody's like, what the f? 
Don't let him go. He just starts hitting him with a steel pipe over and over and over again. And everybody's like, damn, bro. That's the Smash Bros. sounds. You going a little too far, my nigga. And look at old dude, bro. He like, damn. That nigga really got that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't even notice he was up back watching the fight. I didn't either. My enemy. Smacks him again. Bro, what the fuck is you on? Well, Mikey's being held down. He's like, kill your enemy. Is that why you killed my brother? Well, this man headbutts dude, then picks this man up. That was the coldest leg limb, bro. He's in KO. Ah! No, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm That's cold. Done. <laughs> Come on in, sir. I've seen enough. He said, I've seen enough. I could end the video right here off of Facts. That's facts. He literally picked up his leg with another nigga on it. Then flunk it and knock both of them out cold. Double KO, actually triple KO because of the other <laughs> that man was like, down there too. But then after that, Mikey's out of gas. So you can resurrect him if he dies, right? No, but I can finish him off if he lives. Bro can't even move. You gonna skip that? Like, oh, I almost pressed on it. So Takami's just trying to rush up there to stop him, but he's gonna be too late. So right when Mikey's about to get clapped, Steve Urkel comes out of the woodworks and clocks homie. Dead ass made the nigga spin like a damn. I ain't remember him doing the whole 360 like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Homie's finally putting his plan into work. Takamichi's like, no. This can't be happening. And everybody's like, good job, Kisaki. And even Draken, bro. Oh my god. So Takamichi's like, no, guys, this shit can't be happening. Do not believe this nigga has good intentions. But while he's standing up there, somebody's coming. The goat. Baji and he sneaks his ass. Clocked him upside his head. And the goat. Knocked out. And look at Baji. That man went to sleep. Like, yeah, nigga. I'm like, fuck your face up so goddamn bad. He <laughs> said, yeah, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Swat that nigga dead. So Chifuyu tries to stop Baji, but uh, Baji just cracked that nigga in the skull. So then Takamichi comes in and he's like, stop this, bro. This ain't you. We know why you're doing this shit. But while Takamichi's trying to stop Baji, this man Kazutora comes out of nowhere and shakes his ass. This is some straight hood stuff, bro. In, oh my God. You rotten banana peeled ass bitch. Then he's like, die, What did he do? This is a nigga that was trying to help you. He just stabbed him in his back. Well, Dang. Is a lost at this point. That's facts. But then this man Baji is still standing up like nothing happened. And look at him, bro. He's just staring down a This is crazy. You gotta put Baji in the round table too. Facts. While stabbed in the back. 50v1. Look at him, bro. He is having fun while doing this. So Kisaki's like, ah, shit, bro. We gotta stop this nigga. But he ends up sneaking his guard and just holds up Kisaki in under like a minute. So while Baji's about to finish the job, my nigga bled out. And our boy Baji is. Anime, bro. I'm tired of that, right? It was just ching ching. No, he planned this shit, you conniving ass bitch. So Mikey wakes up and he sees that Baji has bled out. And bro is like, Megaly pissed. So Mikey walks up to Draken and Hanma and he's like, the fight is already over. But Hanma's like, hey bro, the fight ain't over yet. You ain't get to decide that shit. So Mikey looks at him, he's like, <laughs> he said, <"Tarsus." laughs> there, it's over. That was crazy. Right. Mikey is literally bred different. Dog literally walked up to him and said, the fight is over. Because he knew he was about to knock his ass out. And look at him, bro. He knocked him out so hard, his ass cheeks are spacing out. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody in Valhalla just split. Bro, it is over. Oh, uh, shoot, bro. It's because this nigga's just instigating shit. Bro was like, yeah, Kazutora's definitely got some screws loose. I see. He brought Baji into Valhalla so he could finish him off himself. So you should beat that nigga's ass. Yo, somebody signed this man up for the Hood Olympics. So then Mikey walks up to Kazutora, and Kazutora's like, all right, let's end this. Either you die or I die. And Mikey's just looking at him like, is this nigga serious? <laughs> he just started blowing on that nigga. Dang! He that nigga like 10 yards. And then man, I miss Tokyo, bro. Me the manga! Manga time! He's beating the piss out of his ass. Even the nigga that be smiling all the time is like, 
Oh, you gonna kill that nigga. Walk calls the towards getting the absolute shit beat out of his ass. He remembers why he stabbed Baji. He got a phone call from Hanma saying that Baji was a traitor. And you know damn well, uh, the nigga that probably set up that phone call, uh, was Steve Urkel's ass. Oh, this nigga stay plotting. So then somehow this man Baji is still up and moving on his feet. So then he goes over to Kazu and he's like, hey, bro. I thought Baji was gonna survive this, man. So he just said, fk it and just killed himself. God, bro. Man actually offed himself so he wouldn't have to blame Ozu for his death. Jesus Christ. So then Kazutora's dumbass walks up to him and he's like, You're next. You two can go to hell together. This man must be the best. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> John, he literally just spills everything. Like, yeah, bro, that nigga Kisaki's behind everything. The man is behind the fight with Mobius right after Paul. It's crazy how Mikey wasn't right there when he was telling him. division captain in exchange for getting Paul out of jail. Nigga, this some next level ass plotting. Baji says his last words, and he's like, "Ah, right, y'all, I'm out this hoe." So, uh, that nigga would kick the bucket. Damn, dog, he didn't even betray his hood. He was a real nigga the whole time. So Mikey Thanks. loses and just starts beating shit out of Kazuma. So Takamichi's like, "Ah, shit, bro, I gotta stop this nigga because if I don't, the future's gonna go to crap." So he obviously can't fight Mikey. So he's like, "I, right, I'm gonna have to resort to one of the most overpowered techniques in anime." <laughs> yeah. The seventh Hokage himself. <laughs> oh, no jutsu. Oh, no jutsu. Why he rock his shit like that? He's like, move, boy, I'm gonna kill your ass. But then this charm falls out of his pocket, and then Mikey gets hit by that flashback, no jutsu. So then he's like, ah, f it. It ain't worth it. So then the cops are coming, so everybody got to get to stepping. So then Kazutor is like, all right, to atone for my sins, I'm gonna stay here and get locked the fuck up again. So damn, bro, this nigga literally just got out of juvie just to get locked up again. That's how it happens. At least uh, he's trying to learn how to better himself this time. So uh, good luck and uh, don't drop the soap. So later on after that, don't drop the soap. Set up the soap, bro. Another meeting and Valhalla ends up merging with Tony because uh, you guessed it. This nigga, but some Look, Kasaki is crazy in this show. The update sound, fam. Well, this dude can't even throw like no hands. I gotta admit, None. this man got some crazy ass durability. Like, dude can Facts. take an ass whooping. So, talk to me. To <laughs> Let me go check out how the future is now. See if it changed a little bit. So, this man goes back to the future and he spawns back into the dusty ass blockbuster. But the thing is. He ain't working there no more. He there said, am I a winner? Scouting is a whole ass your Pretty company. much. <laughs> Picking up mans in a whole ass Rolls Royce. Yes, sir. Yes, I am, bro. Hey, yo, all them niggas eating. So Chifuyu and Takamichi got to go to this meeting. And this is where we could tell, uh, some ain't right. Because half of these dudes ain't even the original members of Tomen. Some of them are from an ex gang called the Black Dragon. And Hanma's lanky ass is there too. And they talking because somebody is a rat. So Takamichi's like, all right, bro, what the fuck is going on? So then Kisaki pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, let me take y'all back to my crib and I'm gonna give y'all a drink real quick. So they go to this dude's penthouse and then he starts talking to him. So then- If you know, you know. What do you think about me? Around this time- We don't like you. And he drops it. I'm the one that planned Bloody Halloween. I formed Valhalla and made them clash with Tony. So then he's out here apologizing for everything that he did. So then he's like, have a drink, y'all. So while they- you Gotta be bold to tell you the truth and then, po and then poison them. One right. Sip. So then this Dang. Starts looking out of it. And then he says, when I said I didn't think Baji would die earlier, yeah, that's a lie. I used that nigga Kazutora to kill Baji, and I'm about to finish what I started. So yeah, uh, he done laced the drinks. So then Taki Who waits 12 like, years to do something, though? He's strapped down onto a chair. So then Kisaki's like, you had a nice nap, nigga? So then he's like, yeah, I know you were right. You've been trying to get my ass. Ah, I don't want to watch this again. He pulls out the Glock. He's like, Takamichi, why you ain't said shit? Then he pops his ass in the leg. Damn. <laughs> so then he puts a Glock up in Chifuyu's head and he's like, any last words before I put your ass six feet under? So then Chifuyu reveals that in this timeline, Mikey disappeared and Draken was executed and Toman just went to crap. So then so he's like, it's the worst freaking outcome than the first one. Damn. They put, they put a cap in his put the curse on there. Ah! Lock up the Takamichi, bro. This man is a madman. Look at him. He like <laughs> still got the revival, my man. Yeah. See ya, my hero. I still want to know why he started crying. That is how you do a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. That is how you do a cliffhanger. Uh, yeah. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this. Damn near everybody.
everybody in this show got black Air Force energy, dog. In fact, that's what I'm saying. Before the video even ended. And if I add more than two, then that's not going to be enough space for all the other people that I need to add later. All right, so I've come down to mm. it. I'm going to have two representatives on this show. Mikey, and I'm going to have to give it to Draken. Let's go! Like everybody Jack else. Jack and Actually, Kazutor and Baji. Because that banana peeled ass nigga ain't even an adult yet, and he been locked up twice. So, yeah. That was Tokyo Revengers. Hell, if they come out with season two, I might make Black Air Force Energy the anime three. Hey, but I'll be honest, I might end up reading the manga low key. But anyways, y'all take me. Read that manga! Patience. What's up, G? What's up? I'm I'm awake. You can go ahead. Have fun. What's up? Hey man, shout out to the video, man. It's pretty much a whole review on the Black Force Revengers. Facts. Literally. Yeah, for sure. It was, double, it was a lot of nostalgic moments to pretty much revisit because we just finished the series like about two, three weeks ago, I want to say. Yeah. Man. It's dope love it. seeing uh see that the champ just kind of like add a little spin on it and yeah. give like a like a really like condensed like synopsis of everything mm -hmm. and add some funny moments and stuff to it. So shout out to uh CJ bro for doing that. It was fire. Make sure y'all go check his channel out, man. He got some pretty dope videos, man. Shouts out to him for making this content for the anime community. Big facts, man. But yeah, man, check them out. And uh, we'll catch y'all again in the next one, man. Double Dragon out. Peace. Peace.